Hello, welcome to the Polyglot Files. My name is Michael and today we have a special interview with a guest on the channel and you're probably wondering why I'm doing this vlog style. That's because I originally filmed an introduction with our guest but that introduction was a little bit glitchy so I decided to film a new one. So anyway, today's guest is Yohei Akiyama, 25 year old Japanese polyglot who speaks nine languages. I hope you enjoy the interview and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, you're going to be able to hear my voice but my face is going to be in the top left hand side of the screen so look out for me there. I'm pretty small, as in like smaller than usual. Okay! I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself. Why don't you let us know who you are and what you do and how many languages you actually speak. Okay, so my name is Yohei Akiyama. I'm a Japanese university student. I'm 25 years old and I, my hobby is to uh, study a lot of languages and I, currently I think I can say I speak nine languages. I speak Japanese, English, Chinese, Spanish, and French. And these five languages I speak to some extent and then Korean, Italian, Portuguese, and Arabic, these four languages that speak a little. Nice. And how, many, how did you get to learning all of these languages? Like, when, when did all of this start, I guess? Uh, so my language learning journey started when I was a high school student. I already been interested in learning languages because of my interest, interest in geography and football, which is a global sport, right? Yeah. Then I decided to start learning Spanish for myself. Spanish is spoken in many countries, which where soccer is very, football is very popular. This was the beginning of my journey. Okay, and what language is your favorite language to learn? Well, uh, all languages are like, very like intriguing to me. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so far, one of my like intriguing language for me is Arabic because it's very like cu quite different from what I'm what I what I say what I speak. Uh, I'll, uh, what I speak. So, for example, the writing system is quite different. Yeah. Do you find Arabic to be really hard to to learn? Is it like really, really different from Japanese? Really, 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 really hard. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to tell you this, but I have to concede the fact that in Japanese, my native language, is one of the difficult, most difficult language in the world. I believe you. Extremely difficult is the writing system. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We have one writing system with around. 50 letters, mm -hmm. and another one with, with around 50 letters, and the last one from Chinese, from Chinese mm -hmm. letters with as many as 3,000 letters. If I wanted to read a book in Japanese, what would I need to know all 3,000 of those letters? If, yeah, if you want to like, read some kind of like Japanese book for a native Japanese. Yeah, wow. But um, if somebody were going to learn, let's say, Japanese, what advice do you think you would give them? Uh, my advice is do not try to memorize all the letters at dinner. Yeah. Yeah. If you try to memorize all of them, maybe I, I would definitely say maybe you or give up as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should avoid, avoid trying to memorize mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. you focus on the first 50 letters and you can move on to the next step. What is your daily or your weekly language learning regimen? So what are the things that you do in order to keep up with all nine of your languages? So, uh, as a premise, my language learning is very simple, which is based on uh, the real conversation. I talk with, with, directly with people whose native language is the one I learn, during which it, or I encounter some words and phrases I don't know and I think useful, mm -hmm. then I write down on my personal vocabulary notes. This mm -hmm. is all I do for language learning. Speaking of da daily learning regimen, when I get up, First, I read my personal vocabulary notes, notes and review the written words and phrases. And then I start talking with people, sometimes in person and sometimes using some language exchange application like Skype. Now, uh, like, like what we are right now doing. Maintenant, je vais poser une question en français pour toi. Est-ce que tu mm. penses que la langue française est une langue facile ou difficile pour les personnes qui, qui veulent l'apprendre ou pour les, les japonais aussi euh, en fait ça, ça dépend de quelle langue vous parlez avant que vous commencez à apprendre le français si vous parlez l'anglais ou les langues communes comme l'espagnol, l'italien, portugais c'est une langue facile du compte j'imagine euh, par exemple moi, moi euh, avant de commencer à parler français j'ai déjà parlé euh, l'espagnol et l'anglais donc je ne pensais pas que euh, l'apprentissage de français était trop difficile. Mm -hmm. euh, déjà, le, il, il, a, il y avait beaucoup de choses euh, très similaires, ou, euh, très proches, ou, euh, 
de l'espagnol et, et la grammaire de l'espagnol et puis euh, l'anglais. Donc, euh, déjà, j'avais euh, beaucoup, de, euh, beaucoup de connaissances euh, de la grammaire française, donc ce n'est pas trop euh, difficile pour moi. Mais par contre, pour les grammaires, c'est un peu compliqué. Et par exemple, c'est une langue très difficile pour nous, les Japonais. Donc, oui. Oui, la grammaire est complètement difficile, c'est inverse, et puis euh, la prononciation est trop différente. Donc, est, c est, je pense, j'imagine, c'est très difficile pour, le, pour les Japonais. Et adesso, finalement, la langue italienne, comment as imparato la langue italienne euh, Pour moi, la langue italienne non, non est très difficile, parce que j'ai parlé en espagnol et en français, comme j'ai déjà dit. Mm -hmm. Et tu trouves que... Sono le similarità tra la, la lingua francese e la lingua italiana che aiutano le persone a imparare la lingua italiana? La grammatica è simile, il vocabolario è anche simile. Se parla una lingua di due, sarà molto più facile di imparare l'altra. All right, well that sounds good. Thanks for joining me, Yohei. Are there, um, so I, I can leave all your links down in the description box so everybody can check you out, but is there a way that I could say goodbye in Japanese? Uh, it is sayonara. Sayonara? Yeah.